Bonjour la classe. Bonjour madame. Je m'appelle Omokaro Esther. Nous présenterons les signes d'orthographe de la phonétique en français. For today's class, we are treating les signes d'orthographe, which is orthographic signs in French. Orthographic signs in French refers to the system of writing and spelling conventions used in French language. It encompasses the rules and guidelines and dictates how French words are written, including the use of accents, punctuation marks, and spellings of certain words. Now, this uh, lesson orthograph are seven in numbers, and it helps to differentiate between the French language and the English language, and also the Spanish language. It also helps in correcting our spellings and our pronunciations. Now, the seven of them are Asant Tegu. Repete. Asant Tegu. Asant Graf. Asant Graf. Asant Second Class. Asant Second Class. Trema. Trema. Fred de Lignon. Fred de Lignon. La Costro. La Costro. And the Tegu. And the Tegu. Now, the Asant Tegu. The Asant Tegu is a diacritical mark that appears on the vowel E and changes the sound E to E to A. Now, this says for both phonetic and grammatic functions in French. Examples of words that you can find the accent you is cafe, as one example, and the allée, which is gone in English. Can anyone give us another example, please? Ma. It's a John, which means students. Thank you very much. Merci. Now we have the Asson graph. The Asson graph is this sign right here. This one. Unlike the Asson Tegu, Asson Tegu is this, this, this sign, while the Asson graph is this one right here. The Asson graph is a diacritical map that appears on the vowel A, E, and U. And this one, take note, only changes the pronunciation of the E to E. And this serves multi-purpose in both pronunciation and grammatic corrections. For example, we have the pair, which is father in English. You can see the Asson graph on top of the P-E, on top of the E right here. Now, we also have U, which is where. It is seen here on top of the U. Next, we have the Asson circumflex. The Asson circumflex is also a diacritical mark that appears on the vowels A, E, I, O, U. It appears on the five vowels. It is an upside down V. You know your normal V is written like this, but the Asson circumflex is written like this. This helps in various functions in both the pronunciation and grammar of certain words in the French alphabet or the French language. For example, we have the Amer, which means so. You can see the assault circumflex on top of the A right here. And we also have the etre, which means to be in English. Moving on, we have the, the trema. The assault trema is a diacritical mark that consists of two dots placed over the vowels E, I, and U. It indicates that the vowel should be pronounced separately from the adjacent vowel. Examples of words that you can find in Trema are Noel, which means Christmas in English, and the Maïs, which means corn in English. Without the presence of the Trema in the Maïs, it is pronounced me, which means but, B-U-T, but, in English. We also have the Asson Cedil. The Asson Cedil is a diacritical mark that is placed under the letter C. It results in the changing of the pronunciation of the letter C from C to S, which gives it a softer tone. It appears before the vowels A, O, and U. And examples of words that you can find in the Cedu are lesson, which means lesson in English, and français, which means French in English. We have l'apostrophe. L'apostrophe, just like the English apostrophe, serves multiple purpose, primary to so indicate contractions, possessions, and elisions of words. Examples are lobe, which means demand. Now, last but not the least, we have the trace de l'union. 
The Tres de l'Union is, is a punctuation mark used to link words together in the French language. For example, we have the anti-American, which means anti-American in English. In conclusion, the, the, the lesson d'autographe are key symbols used to differentiate between French, German, and the Spanish language, because these languages have the same alphabet. And at this juncture, I will be handing over the podium to my to my co -me group member to take on the next Bonjour la classe. Bonjour madame. Je m'appelle Asia Deborah, and right now we are taking l'alphabet phonetic, which means phonetic alphabet. The French alphabet is similar to the English alphabet with a few additional letters and diacritical uh, marks. Though they share the same letters like the English alphabet, they are not all pronounced the same way. The French letters have some accents which changes their pronunciation. Due to the pronunciation des alphabet français, which means I will be introducing the aspect of pronunciation in French alphabet. The French phonetic alphabet is divided into three parts, alphabets, vowels, and consonants. First of all, let us learn the French alphabet pronunciation. Répétez après moi. Oui, madame. A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. E. Consonants. In conclusion, the study of French phonetics is important because it facilitates pronunciation and comprehension in French and also helps to distinguish and make us get used to the pronunciation variations of native speakers. We have therefore come to the end of this video. Do we have any questions or contributions? On this note, We'll be ending the video here. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, everyone. Applaudissez.